welcome to another lesson. This one is going to be very brief and it's really just a response to an observation I've been making recently. It's occurred to me that many people aren't necessarily aware of how to view and then unview particular information in the score. Allow me to show you what I mean. If I open up a new score, you'll see that there are a couple of things being displayed that won't be shown when printing. Up the top we can see some hidden objects and here we can see the green playback line. If I make any changes to the layout of my piece, in addition to the hidden objects and playback line, I will then also see my layout changes shown in blue above the stars. Now of course it can sometimes be useful to see this information, but to be honest, for the majority of the time it's just going to clutter up the screen, get in the way and distract you. But we can turn all of this information off in the View tab, either one by one. For hidden objects, there's even a hotkey, Alt-Shift-H. Or we can hide everything all at once by clicking Hide All. And I've even created a shortcut to this. I find this to be a helpful hotkey because I can just toggle this information on and off quickly as needed. Now I believe that it's quite important to be able to turn this sort of stuff off when doing any note input. I think that it can in a subconscious sort of way distract you a bit from any task at hand. I've said it before and I'll say it again, a cluttered screen really does result in a cluttered mind. You want things to be as clear, tidy and distraction free as possible. And obviously this principle applies to additional windows open on your screen. As you know, in the View tab under Panels, we can open or close various windows. Some of these windows you might never use, whilst some of them you might have open all of the time, such as the keypad or the transport windows. And many of them already have hotkeys assigned to them, particularly the windows that you're more likely to use. To toggle them on and off, the shortcuts are Ctrl-Alt-K for the keypad, Ctrl-Alt-B for the keyboard, Ctrl-Alt-Y for the transport, Ctrl-Shift-I for the inspector, Ctrl-Alt-M for the mixer, Ctrl-Alt-I for ideas, Ctrl-Alt-N for the timeline, and Ctrl-Alt-X to hide all windows all at once. Now don't memorize all of these, it's going to be a waste of time. Instead choose two or maybe three that you require often. Perhaps the transport window or maybe the mixer are going to be windows that you'll want to be able to turn on and off quickly. And this way we can just keep our screen just a little bit more open, a bit more free, so that we can concentrate a bit more on the tasks that we're currently performing. In fact, if you'd like to free up even more space on your screen while working, we can even hide the entire menu ribbon by clicking on the green arrow in the top right hand corner of the screen. And the hotkey for this is Control F1. And if we'd like to be very pedantic, in the View tab under Window, we can also blow the Sibelius window up to full screen. The hotkey for this is Control U. And with these particular settings on, we've reached our maximum workspace size. It doesn't get any bigger than this. So, that's it. I'll catch you later.